Yo guys, it's how to download and install the clean version of Phobos. So the clean version of Phobos is basically there was a virus version of Phobos, but I'm going to tell you guys how to download the clean version of it. So you guys are going to click uh, the GoPro's GitHub. So this is a safe one. This gets uh, Phobos 1.9 into the GitHub. You guys are going to go over here. You guys are going to go over here. So you removed all the sketchy stuff inside of it also. And right here, you're going to click this, the clean jar. And then you're going to press keep. By the way, this is safe. There's no virus inside this type one. So you're going to drag this to your desktop and leave it there for now. All right. Now you guys are going to go forge download. Forge 1.12.2. Remember, all this is going to be linked in the description. So you guys don't have to type this. So I'm going to go right here. So you're going to click the link. And then you're going to end up in a page like this. You're going to click installer. I'm going to download latest. Sometimes um, certain clients actually require you to download a certain version of Forge. So just note that. Mine's taking a second for it to load. There it is. And now it's going to bring you to this type of page, an advertisement. So just ignore all, all this. Don't click any of it. Just click right here. P press skip. As you guys see, now uh, press keep and then click it. And by the way, if th these do not show up as jars to you guys, I'll quickly tell you guys how to install that in a second. So, you guys are going to run 1.12.2 of your launcher before you press forge. But, yeah. So, let's go right here. You're going to go to java.com. Java.com. You're going to go right here. You're going to go Java download. Then, you're going to go right here. You're going to agree to start free download. It takes like 10 minutes to do this. So, I'm not going to bother doing it right now. Okay, so now all that's done. So you guys might want to add Optifine to it. I'm going to add Optifine to it. So I'm just going to quickly do this. Link in the description like always. So you guys are going to download. You guys are going to show all versions. Go down to whatever. So this is basically for a majority of the hack clients. I will do some different ones later. But yeah, so this is pretty good. So then, yeah, I'll bring you the same type of uh, thing. You're going to press skip right there. Press download. And then you're gonna press keep and then drag it to your desktop. Alright, now for Mac users, you guys are gonna press um Command Shift G to open up uh to open up a uh, certain saves folder, right click your saves folder and um put it to Minecraft. Dot Minecraft. But if you guys are on Windows, press Windows key and R and it'll bring this up. Right percent update percent and then slash dot minecraft. Press OK. Then it'll bring you guys here. And now you guys are gonna create a new folder. Okay, I'll just so mine's already here, but how do you create it? You're gonna right click it, you can press new folder, and you're gonna name it mods, and you're gonna drag it in there. So I'm just gonna click delete this. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here, so I already have a couple mods in there, so I'm gonna move that. And then right here, you guys are gonna grab whatever you really wanna add, which you guys wanna add Phobos and um Optifine. One point twelve. Right there. And, um, yeah, so that's so far good. You guys are going to go right here into Minecraft. This is what a lot of YouTubers miss. Um, a lot of tutorial ones miss. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, 90% of these miss once my Minecraft launcher loads. Um, you're going to, they're going to miss once you go to installations. You have to have this modded checked off. Every once in a while, certain things you have to have snapshots on, but majority of the time you don't. But you always have to have this modded checked off. Always keep that on and releases. Now you guys are going to go to, um, you guys are going to find Forge. So, uh, you guys are going to find Forge 1.12.2. You can look up like Forge or something. Right here, press play. And now I'm going to load it up. I'm going to, and uh, to open up the GUI, I'm pretty sure... I'll show you guys how to bind it because none, it, just, it doesn't have a default GUI. I'm pretty sure it's right shift or I, but um, I'll show you guys how to I'll show you guys how to bind it quickly. So now once you guys are in, you're gonna see this screen. You're gonna do this, whichever one you really wanna go on. I'm gonna go on this world because I play on this world the most for practicing stuff like this. All right, guys. I did the at the end when I was showing you how to bind everything. I did it all completely wrong. So I'll just write on the screen how you guys do it. But I comment like. I want more or something. Like. Like, I don't know. So, yeah, guys, like and subscribe. And, uh, you guys can see on the screen. And goodbye. <laughs>